Vlad Esmond here for Winners and Winners, trying to make you a better, better football season. Surprisingly, it's it's getting upon us. So we're less than a month out, around three weeks out from the first uh, NFL preseason game, from the Hall of Fame game. Then really, you're five weeks out. So we're two months from the start of the football season. You're going to have uh, training camp rolling around soon. Hard Knocks will be back on HBO. And then it'll be like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. So I've got, I love talking these early over-under numbers. And a team that I am way high on, uh, that I have been, is the San Francisco 49ers. Okay, show me a weakness. Show me a weakness on the San Francisco 49ers. Superstar running back and good backups, check. Really efficient quarterback who's growing, check. Superstar receivers, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, check. Awesome tight end, George Kittle, check. Strong defense, check. I, I don't know where you find a weakness on the San Francisco 49ers. Their performance in the last couple of playoff games where they almost got run up and run out by the Packers and the Lions in back-to-back -back weeks gave me some pause. But I think that'll get that team even more focused for this year and coming off coming off the season they had. Look, McCaffrey's still McCaffrey. I, I told you all the weapons. So here's how their season goes. They have the Jets in town to open the season. I don't think the Jets are going to be ready for that game. Aaron Rodgers is going to have to knock off two years of rust. Are they going to come out and be a polished machine? No. Are the 49ers? Yes. Niners get a win there. Then the Niners go to the Vikings. I'm sorry, Sam Darnold and the Vikings are not beating the 49ers. Then uh, they get the Rams at home. Well, I'm going to give them a win there. They're going to split the series maybe, but I'll give them a win at home. They get a win at, with the, Patri at the Patriots. Easy. Cardinals win. At Seattle, Thursday night football. Seattle gives the 49ers fits. A lot of changes, though, with the Seattle uh, Seahawks. I live in Seattle Seahawk land over the past couple of years. Um, is Geno Smith going to put up the same kind of performance that he did the last year? I don't know. I, I just, there's not a lot to love about the Seahawks. So uh, I'll give the 49ers the sneaky win on Sunday night football. Then uh, they get the Chiefs. At 49ers. I'm giving this game also to the 49ers. They will have had an extra several days rest because they played Thursday night football. So at home, extra rest, balance, I'm going to go with the Niners. Sunday night football follows with the Cowboys. And uh, I don't believe in the Cowboys. Sorry. What have they done to get better off on the offseason? Nothing. Um, I... I I don't know. It's inexplicable to me why a very old owner is not spending to win. I don't get it, but he's not. Then they get their buy. Okay, this next team is tricky, the Buccaneers. But they're coming off their bye week. Even though it's at the Buccaneers, I'm still going to give them the win there. With the bye week and the extra rest, they get the Seahawks at home. They beat them again. Then they're at the Packers. Tough place to play. Uh, I'm going to give the young Packers team that showed up against the 49ers in the playoffs the, the win there. So the 49ers pick up a loss at the Bills on Sunday night football. Um, I know it's back-to-back -back weeks on the road, uh, but I just don't think the Bills are going to be all that until I see it. Um, Bears win. Rams on Thursday night football. I'm going to hang a loss on them there. They split the season with the Rams. At the Dolphins, they get the win. Monday Night Football, Lions. At 49ers, they get the win. At Cardinals, they get the win. This gives them a crazy 15-2 and two season. I know. I know. Barring injury, I, again, it goes back to my thesis at the very beginning. What is the weakness of the San Francisco 49ers? What, what do they not do well? Pass rush, check. Great linebacking back end, check. 
Weapons on offense, check. Great young signal caller who's growing into the job, check. Look, the only team they really have taken a bad loss to was in the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. They were losing against the Packers, and they were losing against the Lions, but they beat them both in the end. So there you go. 49ers easily over their number of 11 and a half. I'm Loud Esmond for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better futures. Better.